Hello everyone, this is Hassan Abdel Salam uh, from uh, Get Informed channel. Uh, this is another tutorial. We are talking today about sweep uh, modifier. Uh, first, we will have to make uh, something like walls, and after that, we will uh, make the sweep to make uh, the molding for the ceiling and uh, the skirting. Uh, first, we will try to uh, check this uh, rectangle maybe uh, uh, 6 by 4 like this and right click convert to editable SP line choose SP line sub object and select the SP line from the viewport go to outline and write point and deactivate outline after this we will go to extrude maybe 4 meters go to our perspective ok I want to make a ground And let's call this ground and call this walls and try to change colors. Okay, the same. Uh, right now, I, I want to uh, draw the molding for the ceiling. Uh, the concept of the sweep is that we have a path that is one section, and we will draw, for example, from here, we will draw a section, we'll go along this path let's draw the section first uh, let's choose uh, something like this create shapes line and we'll start from here okay okay maybe that's enough After that, we'll press one. Uh, maybe all in between. We'll make it smooth. And this, I will make busy a corner. This one. This one. Maybe what if we deleted this one here? Less vertices, more flexibility in editing. Maybe this one will be uh, busy. And may check interpolation here. That's very nice. Okay, let's take this one. Press F. 3G 
maybe I will change this one and I want to scale this one uh, beware guys if you scale this cross section from scale tool it will not affect anything but go to SP line sub object and select and scale while you are activating your uh, sub object I will try to uh, draw this line to close okay uh, create line from here snap 2.5 shift and from here vertex vertex okay we'll choose all these and weld okay well done and I will move from here to make it here okay so now we have the cross section our cross section and I want to make the path if you, you have two options one simple option is to go rectangle and snap 3d from here to here directly and we'll name it uh, Mold, molding path okay the other option is to if the shape is complicated for the room I will take this wall and make copy copy not instance and delete the extrude modifier and try to isolate and delete the outer line and we have this line I will move it up to check here to okay here we have okay but already we have made the path I will select now the uh, path and go to SW a sweep and sweep uh, will uh, give you two options first one to use built-in section uh, we have a lot of sections here maybe quarter round and I can control uh, the size okay half round wide flange I beam many many shapes but now we, we already have our uh, section use custom section pick and I will pick this one great now I made this one I want to edit uh, I guess it's flipped so let's adjust first I will go to align pivot from here maybe there I don't know okay let's go like this and like this I don't know so I adjusted already with the uh, end uh, of the room but the section I want to flip it maybe we go to mirror no I uh, guess mirror this axis yes and after that we will check hmm. great very nice very smooth uh, the same way I will make uh, the skirting maybe from here
Maybe you can jump for this one. Okay, no, oh, do it, fill it, would be better. Okay. Two point five and go to draw rectangle G from the inner side and make the name uh, skirting path. While I'm selecting the skirting path, I will apply sweep modifier and yes choose custom selection custom section sorry and i will sweep parameters and go to edit so i think this is what i want after that i can put my ceiling freely and that's it thank you